In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the activity diagram for the topic business analysis system. So first, before getting into this video, you need to know what are the symbols that are required in drawing an activity diagram. So I have already made a video on the symbols that are used in drawing the activity diagram. So I have attached the link of that video in the description box. So you can first learn the symbols using that video and then you can continue watching this video for better understanding. So business analysis system. So the first step is you need to draw the start symbol which is a circle and inside you need to color it. This is the start symbol for the activity diagram. So next I need to draw a downward arrow. So activity diagram means the entire process of this business analysis system. The full process from the start till the end what and all happens. Everything I have to mention in this diagram. And I have to write every single incident that is required for this topic business analysis system inside the activity symbol. The symbol for activity is a rectangle with rounded corners. So this is the symbol for activity. So I am drawing this symbol. So inside this I need to write the activity that takes place. So task is received so this is the activity taking place so what is the process for this business analysis system the entire process first you need to start the activity next the task will be received to whom the task will be received the manager will receive the task from the client next what the manager will do the manager will go through the task that is given by the client Next, the manager will assign the task to the employee. So, after assigning the task to the employee, the ma manager will get into the team's call and explain about the task to the employee. What has to be done? What is the exact requirement? So, everything will be discussed to the employee. The manager will guide the employee. Next, what will happen? The employee will complete the task. After completing the task, the employee will send an email to the manager telling that I have completed the task. Now you can proceed with testing. Next, the manager will test the work done by the employee. If the test is successful, the manager will inform the client that the work has been completed. So I can give it to you now. For example, if the test is not successful, there is some error in the testing means, then the manager will inform the employee and will ask the employee to recheck and make those changes and send it back to him or her. So this is the entire process of business analysis system. So you have to write every single process in activity diagram. Whereas in other diagram, it is not mandatory to write every single step. But here in activity diagram, you have to write every single step that is happening. All the steps you need to write in order. The order should not be shuffled. It should be in proper order. First, you have to start the process. Next, the task will be received. Next, receive to the manager. Next, what will happen? Manager will look into the task. Manager looks into the task. So what task is given by the client, the manager will read and try to understand it. After that, the manager will assign the task to employee. Manager assign task to employee. Draw a rectangle with rounded corners. This is the symbol of activity. So all the activities you need to write inside this symbol only. And all the activities should be written in order. I cannot write this step first, this step second. It should not be written in that way. It has to follow the proper sequence, proper order it needs to follow. 
this downward direction indicates that the task is the activity is taking place in this order first task has been received next the manager is reading that task and trying to understand next manager is assigning the task to the employee in this way the activity is taking place so the downward arrow arrow i have to draw in order to show the direction of the activity taking place next draw the downward arrow now what manager does manager explains the task to employee in teams call or in chat whatever it can be explained in any mode by the manager to the employee next employee completes the task employee completes the task after employee completing the task draw the downward arrow here there is no space so i am continuing here but you are supposed to continue here only since here there is no space i am continuing it on the right hand side so after co employee completes the task the next step is employee sends an email to the manager stating that the task is finished and it is ready for testing ready for testing so this is one activity this is the very next activity of this step employee completes the task then this step takes place downward arrow employee sends an email to the manager stating that the task has been completed and it is ready for testing so after this the manager will test the work submitted by the employee this is the next step now here you need to draw a decision box test successful if the test done is successful then what will happen the manager will inform the client and submit the work to them and submit the work to the client this activity will take place if the test is not completed some changes needs to be made test is not completed some changes has to be made means what activity will take place manager ask employee to make changes this activity will take place so after this the last step is the process will end so the symbol for that is a big circle inside a smaller circle and color only the smaller circle so this is the final diagram for business analysis system activity diagram so if you look into the flow the first is you need to start the process next the task is received who has received the task the manager has received the task from the client the next activity that is going to take place is manager is looking into the task is reading the task and trying to understand it the next step is manager is assigning the task to the employee to do next what the manager is doing manager is arranging a call where the manager is explaining the task to the employee next the employee after understanding whatever the manager has told the employee will complete the task after completing the task the employee will send an email to the manager telling that the task has been completed and it is ready for testing now you can test after that the next step is manager will test the work that is submitted by the employee 
Now here the decision box. Decision. Deciding. That takes place. So decision box is the diamond box. So if the testing is successful. Then the manager will inform the client. Telling that the work has been completed. And the manager will submit the work to the client. For example, if the test is not successful and some changes have to be made, then the manager will ask the employee to make some changes. So after the manager informs the client to submit the work, the process ends. So I have drawn the end symbol which is a bigger circle and inside you need to draw a smaller circle and color only the smaller circle inside. So after manager asking the employee to make the changes, you have to draw an arrow from this to manager test the work. Because after the client, sorry, after the employee making the changes, will again send that rework which has been done to the manager and the manager will test that work and will see. If the test is successful, then the manager will inform the client and submit the work and the process will end. If again there is some problem in testing then the manager will again give some changes to the employee and the employee needs to make further changes and again resubmit it so in this way the process will keep on moving so this is the final diagram activity diagram for the topic business analysis system so here you need to know the symbols start symbol you need to know stop symbol you need to know Next, activity symbol. All these rectangle boxes with rounded corners are the activity symbols. You need to know this. Next, decision symbol. Diamond box. You, ne you need to understand even this symbol well. Next, the downward arrow. Downward arrow is nothing but the flow in which the entire process is taking place. So, this is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third step. This is the fourth, fifth step, sixth step. Like that, it will keep on going till the end. And you cannot bring the fourth step to first. First step to fourth. You cannot rearrange and write like this. You have to write it in proper order. That is very important in activity diagram. So this is the final diagram. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comment section. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends.